Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show, the Patriot Art Show. Make sure you subscribe, and uh, we'd love to you know, have you a regular visitor on here. Today, I'm drawing uh, a sketch of Anthony Fauci, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Not because he's one of my favorite people, but sometimes I like to draw controversial uh, characters that are going on in the country. And uh, this guy, he's been around quite a while. He uh, has some fame for doing research on AIDS. Uh, he was the head of the, uh, what is it called, the National Institute of Allergy and Infections, Infectious Diseases. He did that for 20 years. And, uh, you know, really he was a well-known figure in uh in that area of expertise. So when the COVID virus came along, uh, he was one of the first ones that were added to Trump's team to advise him on how to handle things. Now, I just want to say right now, as I draw this picture, uh, you can see I'm drawing pretty quickly. This is not the actual speed that I draw. It's about four times faster. You'll see me drawing regular speed later on. But uh, so anyway, um, putting in Fauci's nose, uh, I get distracted as I'm thinking about what I'm doing here, but I don't, I just want you to know that I am not going to be talking necessarily about how I feel about the virus itself, the whole COVID thing. Uh, so frustrating. I'm sure a lot of you have your opinions, but I want to talk mostly about Fauci. So this guy is taken in by Trump, uh, early in 2020 as the as the uh, COVID was just starting to break out of Wuhan, China, and Trump immediately wanted to close uh, the, all the flights coming in, and uh, Fauci advised against this. Uh, he was had a very strong opinion that that shouldn't happen, and why he would feel that way, I have no idea. But later he admitted that that probably saved a lot of lives, that Trump did that. Um, and now, in retrospect, you know, here we are, fall of 2021, and uh, Trump has said that, you know, he's frustrated that Fauci was wrong on so many things. Uh, and Fauci is not really friendly to the president. And the friend, President Trump is not too friendly to him. Uh, Fauci is now the medical advisor to, uh, to President Biden, Joe Biden, and advises him. Uh, but... I honestly, I mean, I'm not sure how how do you feel about Fauci uh, and the way the way he's handled everything. You know, he re, he he even said at one point, oops, I kind of dropped it there. He even said at one point that it might even be good to wear two masks instead of one, and he got a lot of flack for that. Two masks, oh my heavens, you know, and it's very debatable on how uh, effective those masks are. Uh, but you know, you know, Fauci, he's, uh, he's definitely very popular with the left, not so much with the right. Um, you know, he's even had a documentary from Netflix come out about his life. I mean, this guy's very popular. He's on CNN and all the other networks except for Fox, but he's on all the other networks quite frequently talking about this pandemic and what should we, which, what should we what we should be doing. Uh, of course, his go-to thing is to lock down everything, um, which is not a very popular uh, position among those on the right. But, uh, you know, he even said we may not be able to have Christmas this year. And uh, he said the same thing about Thanksgiving last year. And I, 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 well, you, you probably know how I feel about that. So here I am working on Fauci's face. Uh, he's from Brooklyn, so he kind of talks like this. Uh, that's my interpretation of the Fauci voice. Um, but uh, he's he's an interesting character. You know, he's been uh, taken before uh, Senate hearings lately by, um, or maybe they were congressional hearings. I can't remember. But uh, Rand Paul has really been ripping into him quite a bit. You know, talking about the gain of function research that Fauci knew about uh, in the Wuhan labs, and uh, Fauci's denying it, and yet the emails come out that prove that it indeed was true. And 
uh, you know, it's, it seems it seems like there's a double standard when it comes to those on the left and what they can get away with, you know, lying to Congress and such. You know, if you if you do anything that appears to be uh, not forthright and you're on the right, you're conservative, boy, you're going to get you're going to get slammed. I've noticed the whole thing with Fauci has become kind of a cultural phenomenon. You know, the way he's referred to and looked at. Uh, so there's some interesting products you can buy online of Fauci. Here's a mask of Fauci not wearing a mask, uh, which is kind of ironic since he tells us always to wear our masks. Get yours now. Here's a pillow with Fauci's face on it. That's very comforting. Uh, a nice t-shirt. Lots of those available. Socks with Fauci on them. These are all online. These are real. Uh, trust in Fauci. Uh, our only hope. I think that's a t-shirt design. I think this one is either a minted coin or a sticker. Masks with Fauci. That's pretty clever. Another t-shirt. Ooh, not nice. I got my Fauci Ouchy uh, phone protectors and bed spreads and, you know, more masks the better. Fauci actually said that more than once. And then this shirt's really amazing because it's like the, the Fauci sucks and then the shirt itself is horrible. Look at the color and it's not even centered. You think they did that on purpose? I think they're trying to make a point. And then, of course, there is the uh, Fauci onesies. Um, comes with a matching mask. I don't know. I thought those were pretty cool. All right, so I'm working on the Fauci face here, just sketching it in, getting shadows under the chin. And uh, I thought about drawing some beagle puppies in the picture with him. But that would be kind of a, a, a underhanded jab. Uh, not, uh, you know, that's a Freudian slip there. Um, but, you know, we I, look it up on Google if you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, got it made the ears too small. I got to make them a little bigger. Okay. All right. Putting in some last touches there. Uh, I got to move on down and get some more detail down below but i kind of work these pictures and just kind of flesh them out and and uh you know i'll probably sell this this sketch and i do i do sell a lot of the sketches in my sketchbook i keep a copy of them for myself and things like this i don't expect them to be very popular <laughs> i won't make prints of this one because you know, people would rather have something of Ronald Reagan or George Washington or Trump as a limited edition. These ones, not as interesting. But it is a it is a historical sketch of a historical figure that will be remembered for a long time. And so uh, I'll probably put the sketch up for sale if somebody wants it. Um, I've done some controversial figures. I've done sketches of uh, Obama and Hillary and uh, other people. And uh, this guy, not one of my favorite dudes, I have to tell you. Um, people that abuse their power and try to tell others what to do, that does not sit well with me. And so regardless of how you feel about COVID and the, the efficacy of the, the vaccine, um, I really think it's a personal choice whether or not someone should take it. And, uh, you know, anything beyond that is not constitutional in my view. So here I am. I'm signing the sketch. All done. But the thing I like to do on these little sketches is write something that the person said that really reflects who they are and their, their personality and such. So this is something that Fauci said, Dr. Anthony Fauci, attacks on me 
our attacks. Have you heard him say this? Our attacks on science. Attacks on me are attacks on science. What an arrogant thing to say. The guy sees himself as as the czar of all truth. And he's wrong on so many things that he said. Even from the beginning when they made predictions of how many people this would kill, uh, how effective the vaccines would be, the masks, all a bunch of garbage. And uh, I just, it's just frustrating. So here he is, Dr. Fauci. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Thanks for joining us on the Patriot Art Show. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Thanks.